Right, good day and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be looking at the nested if function. So in my previous video I dealt with the if function, um, here you can see it's still sitting there. If and we had our criteria, what must happen if the criteria is met and what must happen if the criteria is not met. So now we're dealing with a nested if. Now with the nested if we are putting an if function inside of another if. Okay. So let's see how this works. First of all, we now have more criteria. So um, in the previous one I had, the per, it, it should show pass, sorry. Um, if the number inside the cell is greater than 70. Now we're saying if the number is greater than 35, it must show border. And if it doesn't comply with these two, if it's less than 35, it must then show fail. So I'm gonna take this out because what we're basically saying here is, Here's a criteria, there's a criteria, and if all else fails, it must say fail. Okay, so let's go and change that. So we're going if this part, we're still saying yes, if D8 is, remember our first one, greater than 70, it must display pass. All right, so now what happens is we put in our um, semicolon, and again, we're now going to say, if we open up another if function and saying, well, if what is in D8 is greater than 35, what must happen? What must display? It must display border. All right. And semicolon, if all of that doesn't work, it must display fail. Now, bear in mind, there's a bracket that's open. There's a bracket that's closed. But at the beginning, here's a bracket that's open. So I need to put in another bracket to close off that. The brackets that you open, please, you must remember to close it. If you've opened two, you close two. If you've opened five, you close five. And we hit enter. Now you'll see, based on that number, it has to be failed. But if I change that number to 46, look what happens. It changes to border. And if I change that to 89, it changes to a pass. So here again, let me just move over, have a look at the formula. You can see if, and here's my criteria, separated by semicolons. If the number in D8 is greater than 70, it must display pass. If it doesn't match that, then it must try and match the next criteria. And if it can't match that, it must display fail. Okay, hope that helps. And that is how we do our nested if function.